Mm -hmm. I turned it on. Okay. Can you guys hear me? Are we live? I might need a tissue. Is it allergy season? Go ahead. Are we still? I'm still talking to. <laughs> in, in, in Facebook, but get a tissue. Am I talking to Facebook? Yeah. Oh, hi guys! I didn't know we were live. Good morning. Happy Sunday. I might need a tissue. Do you need a tissue? Grab a tissue. All right, we are doing restorative yoga today, so it's really relaxing, really chill. Um, we're gonna kind of see if we can like reduce the stress that we might be feeling by really tuning into the, can you guys hear me? Thumbs up if you can hear me. Can you hear me? Is my audio too loud? All right, we're gonna roll with this, guys. It's always like trial and error with new equipment. Um, what was I saying though? Oh, we're gonna try to tap into the relaxation part of the body. So really kind of getting into the space where we can nourish and relax instead of maybe other spaces that you might've been feeling throughout the week, possibly like that, that fight or flight where we get really anxious and stress levels rise. Um, yeah, we're gonna try to, to flip that and feel relaxed, feel nourished and feel zen. So if you are just joining, sorry, Instagram, you've heard this before. If you're just joining, grab your props. So I have a bolster, a blanket and a block. If you have two blocks, grab two blocks. Um, and if you don't have any of those things, you can grab whatever you have in your house. You can get a pillow, a beach towel, a Harry Potter novel, um, or whatever you have that will lift you and support you. And then take a seat on your mat, crisscross applesauce, cross the legs if it feels comfortable, and then close the eyes. The sun is shining bright. It is a warmer day, so hopefully we are feeling just that much better with the shift in weather, right? So take a big deep breath in through the nose. Exhale, let it go out the mouth. And do that again, take a big deep breath in through the nose. Exhale, let it go out. And then start to bring awareness into your space here. So into the physical space that you are occupying, that you are taking up on the mat. And bring the sensation is into what is rooted into the earth. Oh, my dog's here. <laughs> so with that sensation of the support and the grounding beneath you, feel a little lifting up. Start to lift up from the base of the spine, lifting through the belly, lifting through the heart and through the crown of the head. Let's observe the natural breath, observe the beating of the heart. And we start to slow down and take our senses and our of observation inward. We'll deepen into the breath here with the practice of Nadi Shodana, alternate nostril breathing. If you guys know it, go ahead, jump into it. I will guide you through a few cycles. Left hand stays down. You can flip the palm to face up, the Jina Mudra connecting thumb and index finger if you like. And then take the right hand. You can switch, this is how I do it, left and right, right and left, whatever feels best. Right thumb comes to the right nostril, pinky finger and ring to the left nostril. Um, and then the other two just rest right on the, the third eye space here, right between the eyebrows. Sit up tall, take a big deep breath in through the nose. The top of the breath, plug both nostrils, pause. As you're ready to exhale, plug left, exhale right. At the bottom of the breath, plug both, pause in that empty space. Plug left, inhale right. At the top of the breath, plug both, pause, full of breath. 
As you're ready to exhale, plug right, exhale left. The bottom of the breath, empty of that breath, plug both paws. You're ready to inhale, plug right, inhale left. And top of the breath, full of breath, plug both paws. Exhale, plug left, exhale right. At the bottom of that breath, that empty space, that Bayakumbaka pause, maybe draw belly to spine. As you're ready, plug left, inhale right. At the top of the breath, that Kumbaka, that retention, pause, plug both nostrils, maybe belly to spine. As you're ready to switch, plug right, exhale left. And then at the bottom, pause, plug both, maybe belly to spine. And then continue your space, your breath here. It essentially is an exhale on one side and a pause. Inhale on the same side and pause. And then switch, repeat that pattern. And then you guys stay in the breath. They'll just sort of tell you maybe what you might be experiencing, although you yourself only truly knows what you are experiencing. So when we do Nadi Shonen on the benefits of this breath, we start to find this equal balance left and right side of the brain. <clears throat> and you start to feel maybe like an immediate grounding space, right? Start to tap into the breath. And feel rooted, but then that lifting up as we expand. We continue in that breath. So your pace, your breath, as fast or as slow as you want to go. Hold the retentions if you like to, maybe a little bit longer, maybe shorter if it makes you feel uncomfortable. Hi guys, now I can feel. Hopefully checking in, making sure you can hear me. Oh, no, it's not too loud. Good morning, everyone. Hi, Sarah. Okay. So we'll do one last cycle each side. So one last time, left and right. What? He said, don't spill my coffee on his laptop. And when you're finished with the breath, take that last exhale, let it go out the mouth. And then just kind of simmer in that space that you just created. So let that wash over you, that feeling, hopefully that, that balance, that equanimity, that rooted space yet supported. And then gently let the eyes open here. So find a soft gaze, maybe really keeping the eyes closed the whole time if you want to allow the audio to guide you through but if your eyes are open just have a soft gaze here and so like i said we're doing um a restorative class here so clear your space grab your props we're going to extend the legs wide here but it's like a little bit different so different than we would maybe in a yin class maybe not but it's not so focused on alignment. Maybe some people think otherwise, but I, I don't want to overemphasize like the feet flexed and the shoulders above the hips. It's just more of a passive place to be. So take your bolster, legs wide, <clears throat> and then layer your space as much as you need to. So if you know, you can come flat down onto the bolster, but this is a strenuous space to be. Don't do it. We're gonna. We're going to take the struggle out of the practice today. So layer up your spot, layer up your props, take the blanket, take the block, do whatever you need to, right? To get this nice and comfortable, sit up tall and then exhale, soften here. And so usually we say kind of flip the hips or take the hips back. It doesn't matter what you do with your hips. Maybe they fall forward. Maybe the toes are soft. But I think, I think I can talk with my head down here. Let me know if I can't and if you can't hear me. <laughs> so take the forehead down. Can you guys still hear me? I hope so. And then give yourself a moment to get adjusted in this spot. Get soft 
get relaxed. And then take, again, any stress out of it that you might feel. But let's take a breath in, really expand. And then exhale, soften in. And again, notice if you're pushing, or if you're trying to pull yourself into a space that you, you know, don't naturally come into. And if that's the case, back off just a little bit. And then come into this deep breathing here. We call this ujjayi breath. Making sure I can hear you. Okay, good. So ujjayi breath in this spot. So we're like belly breathing or this diaphragmatic breath. So drawing the belly and the breath in really wide. Letting the belly expand. Letting the heart space expand. And the breath is full. Maybe you pause at the top. And then exhale, gently releasing it out calmly. When you're empty of breath at the bottom, maybe you draw belly to spine and then continue this breath. So just a little note on blocks. They have levels. So maybe you flip your block or your Harry Potter novel um, tall. And then soften in here. And then we relax into these postures as gently as we can. And letting the breath continue to flow. And with that really expansive breath, starting to put the mind at ease, right? So we settle softly in physically into the postures and then we allow the mind to join as well. Making sure shoulders are down. Making sure the ankles and the toes are relaxed. The hands. And breathe into your space as much as you can. Maybe we think sipping in the breath as we draw the breath in. So instead of like gulping or gasping in the air, we draw the breath in, sipping gently in through the nose. And the same for the exhales. Instead of sighing them out the mouth, we do that sometimes, right? It's a nice relaxing way to kind of release, but also gently guiding the breath out the nose. And then taking yourself a little deeper into your space, so not physically, but mentally, this internal gaze, right? So maybe you have distractions in your space. Maybe you have dogs and cats or whatever roaming around your house. See if you can maybe set yourself up um, just to really ignore and kind of detach from whatever is going on around you. And then take a little bit deeper dive into this. We're going to slowly come back up. I probably have an indentation on my face from a block. Slowly sit up. Okay, keep this, the props where you're at. Maybe move the block to the side if you had it. I'm going to walk the hands behind us. And then press the hands down. Fingers face forward. You can keep the legs really wide. And then you're going to lift up through the heart. So we're going to lean back. If you're up against a wall, maybe your head comes to the wall. And just gently... Rest here and allow the heart to open. It's hard to talk like that, but allow the heart to open. Maybe allow the throat space to start to open. Notice if you're finding tension in the small of the back or even the upper back. So if that's the case, you can let the shoulders slide forward. I should have grabbed a tissue. Let's slowly come back up. So being mindful of the transitions as well as the actual posture. So the trans transition is what moves us from one posture to the next, right? They're just as important as the actual posture. So mindful in the way we do everything is the practice of yoga. 
you're going to take the bolster and the blanket and take it to the kind of the top of the mat. I'm coming into a recline position here. So I'm going to do a little flip. So Supta Baddha Konasana in a supported space. So supported bound angle on the back. If you have two blocks or two Lord of the Rings novels, um, take them to each side of your knee. You're going to bring the soles of the feet together. I'll, I'll show you this way first. So soles of the feet together. Can you guys hear me? I just, <laughs> I'm really concerned. Perfect. Okay, good. Awesome. So soles of the feet together and we're sitting up really tall but only as tall as you feel, right? We don't strain here. Again, we're flipped this way, so bring the tailbone to the base of the bolster. Slide your block underneath your knee. So they have levels, like I said, you can put them real high or pretty low. And then you can have your blanket here or you can sit on the blanket. Sorry, that's an afterthought here. Um, but then we're gonna lay down onto the back. So gently relax onto the back here and Maybe your hips are really open and you don't need a bolster, but if you have maybe any lift here or a block, put the block underneath both sides. I only have one block, so I'll pretend I have two. And then allow the hands, maybe they come here to the inner thighs, the elbows softly press against the mat or open the hands. Maybe they rest on the belly. And be mindful of this space where it's different than maybe most yoga classes you've done where we you know, sometimes move to the edge. We want to be on our edge, you know, and come up to the edge most times. But this one, maybe, maybe back off just a little bit. Close the eyes here if you need to. Take a big deep breath in. Exhale. Let's let it go out the mouth here. And then come back into that, that diaphragmatic breath, that ujjayi breath that victorious space where we draw the breath in through the nose, expanding wide, maybe feeling the back of the heart as the rib cage starts to expand and presses into the bolster while keeping us lifted. Belly starts to lift, heart starts to lift. And feeling not only that breath, that ujjayi breath, but that prana, that energy and life force that starts to fill the body. And I'm very aware of it when we start to take our practice inside, right? That internal focus, that really acute sense of awareness that we feel when we're really synced up body and breath. Allow the face to soften a little bit here if you feel any tension across the eyebrows or across maybe the jaw or the tongue. If you feel any tension across the hip space, you can always bring the knees together or extend the legs out. Do what you need to do in this space. This should just be like a gentle opening across the hips, right? Really soft. And then we're trying to tap into that space of relaxation to restore and nourish the body. So sometimes we need a really fiery practice or a really you know, physical sweaty practice to get us into the space we might be craving, but at the same time, the, the balance of the softness is really important to honor in our practice. And keep in touch with the breath. Notice that the mind starts to wander. So we're, we're very still and we're very quiet. And the mind does this thing where it starts to jump from thought to thought. But don't let it get too lost in that chatter. See if you can pull it back. Don't let it go down into that spiral of the shita vritti, that monkey mind that takes us out of the present. So stay with the breath. Okay. 
Good. Gently bring the knees back together so you can use your hands to help. You're going to gently bring the knees back together and mindfully roll to one side here. Um, we're going to I kind of keep it, keep it chill, keep it low here. So don't pop right up out of this. So maybe roll to the right. You can pause here. You can lay down on the mat, laying on the bolster. Good. Gently sit up. So we're going to take the bolster, you're going to take it long ways here. Well, not long ways, this way. <laughs> take it this way across the mat. Take your block at the top and then take your blanket right about here, smooth it out. And then you're going to have a seat. We'll start on the right side here. Um, so take your right hip down. Can you guys see me okay? Okay, you can. And then you're going to take your rib cage kind of, on, you're going to lay across it really, really comfortably, right? So take the bolster so it's on top of your ribs and then take the uh, block underneath your head. You're going to lie your head down. You can take your hand, your right hand down here, or you can come here. I mean, I think it feels better if it's more to the left side of your mat, drop your head down and make sure that you feel lifted, kind of lifting up on that left side. Reach your left arm up. Did I get my left and rights mixed up? Are we on the same page? Okay. <laughs> Lift the left arm up. And then gently start to reach it overhead here. Good. You can keep the head looking forward. Maybe you want a little lift up, but make sure it's a, again, a really effortless place to be. Maybe close the eyes. Knees can be on top of one another, or you can extend a little. Good. Take a breath here. Exhale, let it go out. Close the eyes, feel the connection to this space that you're in. If that extended arm doesn't feel right, you can place the hands back down towards one another. Good, coming back into that belly breath. Good, ujjayi expanding wide. I'm gonna move my hand just because I don't wanna cover the microphone, you guys stay. And draw that belly in deep, allow the eyes to close. See if you can maybe just observe the inhale and the exhale. Staying soft throughout the face. Just another reminder, a lot of times we like to clench our jaw or do strange things with our tongue. And soften all spaces here. Keep the breath deep. And we're going to come on to the other side so slowly again, paying attention to the importance of the transition. Let one hand gently lift you up. But you can keep the blanket where it's at. We'll just switch um, where the bolster is. So maybe move the legs to the side, bring the bolster to the other side. Good. And then laying down on your opposite side here, hips on top of the blanket. Good, and then take the block to the top of the mat. Move my coffee. Move this down a little bit. Good, then the left side of the rib cage is gonna be supported by the bolster. So I'm gonna lay across it here and then legs extend. Good. And then take your head to the block, allow maybe the ear to rest here. We feel the gentle lift of the rib cage. So this is a really nice way to softly open the right side of the body or each side of the body. Reach that right arm up or the opposite arm if we are not on the same side. You're going to reach the arm over, 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 and then softly down. Adjust so you feel comfortable here. So it feel a little bit awkward to have your head resting on a block. 
So move around. And then take, you know, get your spot. Get comfy. See if you can now release the urge to fidget. Did you just fidget when I said that? So see if you can honor that space of stillness. Take a big deep breath here. Exhale, let it out. And come back in if you have lost your ujjayi breath, expanding wide, expanding deep with every inhale, pulling the breath from the base of the spine all the way up and through. And that same for the release out, drawing the breath out slowly, gradually through the nose. Then if your arm is overhead, we're going to slide it down. We're going to press the palms down to slowly lift you up. And then you're going to have a seat. So have a seat. Just sit up here. We're going to gently wrap the arms around the shins. And then draw the forehead to the knee. So we're going to create this really soft, compact space. Even though it's, it's compact, it's not tight, right? It's still soft. It's still relaxed. So forehead down. And just pause here. So we're not moving quickly. We're not rushing to get from one place to the next. We're simply experiencing the posture as it is slowly, gently, and stress-free. Good. Sit back up straight. Good. And then we're going to, I think we've got two more postures to do. Shavasana is one of them. Um, we're going to do a supported Viparita Karani. So supported legs up the wall. I know you like this one, Sarah. Um, so if you have your bolster, we're going to take it long ways. Sorry if I'm getting in the way of the mic. This is new to me. Um, take your blanket. The blanket's going to support the shoulders. And you don't need your block for this one. Um, we're going to come up to the wall here. So make a little gap between your bolster and the wall if you can. If you know this and you can easily get into it, still do it mindfully and still do it with the bolster if you have a bolster. So we, we kind of approach this as a beginner, right? So the beginner's mindset of yoga is, is a good one to have regardless of how long you practice. Um, so get up on the bolster. And then you're going to kind of pivot here um, to take the legs up the wall. Be mindful of decorations you have. Don't kick them over. Uh, that'll really kill your zen. <clears throat> um, <laughs> so get comfy here. You want the bolster to support you and to be able to lift you up. Can you guys still hear me? I hope so. Okay. Legs up the wall. And then shoulders are supported by the blanket. The back, the tailbone is supported by the bolster. And then don't worry about like flexing the feet or whatever you want to do with the legs. Be soft here. Maybe you take the arms out to the sides. Maybe you reach them overhead. Maybe they just gently rest wherever you find. And then take a big breath here. This is a really nice rejuvenating posture, but still you know, calming. This is an excellent posture if you just need something to flip the energy and kind of spark some nourishment. Take an inhale here. Exhale, let it go out. So in this posture too, it's said to kind of boost the immune system. We, we flip the energy and we let kind of the body just relax, start to 
Release any tension that you felt from being on your feet. I guess not all day because it is the morning, but... <laughs> Good. Notice here the belly. So now the belly is lifted and exposed here. And we can notice the belly as we draw the breath in. Maybe feeling that expansion as we draw the breath in. Ujjayi, full and deep. And seeing if you can keep the mind focused as well. So that soft focus, the same way we think of a soft gaze. And gently guiding the breath still in and out the nose. We've created this really relaxed space in the body, hopefully in the mind as well. And soften the shoulders if you feel tension start to build. Soften the face, soften the eyes. And maybe the muscles right behind the eyes, the ocular muscle that controls the movement. See if you can soften that space and allow the eyes just to kind of gently sink into their sockets. Good. And then we're going to come out of this space by gently bending the knees. And then roll to one side. I'm going to roll to my right. And then pause here. Good. Maybe, maybe you take a little fetal position before we come up. Just pause here if you want to. Good. Then gently start to come up. Good. We'll come into Shavasana. So we're going to come into a prop space with Shavasana. <clears throat> Um, gently, mindfully make your way in. Your head can come to whatever side of the yoga mat you feel. Um, we're going to take the bolster and the blanket underneath the knees. And then grab your block. We're going to take the block <laughs> underneath the head. Um, and this, again, it might feel funny to have the block underneath your head. Try it and then move it if you really don't like it. Um, so get the... Bolster and blanket underneath the knees, scooch down a little bit, and then lay down and adjust the block. All right, so maybe shimmy a little here. Good, and so you'll notice if it's too far away from your head or too close to your neck, one, you'll find, it, you'll find a good spot. So find that sweet spot. Good, take the arms down, flip the palms to face up. Is everybody comfy and supported in their Shavasana? Good, good. Keep that calm. Keep that, that relaxed space. Allow the eyes to close here. And we'll take three really good cleansing breaths. Take a big deep breath in through the nose. Exhale, let it go out the mouth. And do that again. Take a big cleansing breath in through the nose. Exhale, side out the mouth. One more deep, full, expansive breath in through the nose. And then exhale as you release and sigh out the mouth. And then let the body fall into this space. So everything is relaxed, is soft, and supported. release any controlled space of breath that you have. So if you're practicing ujjayi breath throughout this practice, throughout the movement, allow the breath to just come into a natural state. So without overthinking it, just start to breathe normally. And again, keeping the mind from wandering, even in Shavasana, right? So... Pull back those thoughts or maybe pull yourself out of those thoughts as you start to drift down. Whatever is taking you out of this moment, whatever is distracting you. 
Maybe you just become aware of the sensation of the body as it rests. And become aware of the sensations of the props beneath you. And if you want a longer Shavasana, feel free to stay here. I'm going to roll to my right side. Maybe stay, maybe stay on, on the block, right? Well, this doesn't feel half bad. So staying on the block just for a moment. Allowing the left hand to press into the mat. Gently lift you up. Gently, gently, mindfully still seeing. Oh, sorry, touching the mic there. <laughs> And staying in that space that you just created. So don't let the transitions move you um, out of what you've just created. Um, we're ending this class here, sitting tall, palms pressed together at the heart center. And lifting up through the belly and the heart. And take one last big deep breath in through the nose. Exhale, let it go out the mouth. And with the palms pressed and the heart lifted, having a, a sense of gratitude for the practice. If you feel bound, you are bound. If you feel free, you are free. Namaste. Shanti, Shanti, thank you, thank you for every, everyone that came to class today. Um, I hope you could hear me well. I hope you feel relaxed and feel nourished. And you can take this into the rest of your week. Happy Sunday. Oh, yeah. Um, sorry, I'm zenned out. I have a new Instagram account for you watching on Instagram and on Facebook. If you want to follow me, it is... Yoga Kate Burns. So just flip it and then find me on Instagram. Yoga Kate Burns. Um, we're putting just a little bit of different content on there than you see on Facebook. A lot of um, yoga with my kids. It's really fun. It is. It feels kind of like exposed because it's not curated or anything. So come, come watch me do yoga with my babies. Namaste. <laughs>